I'm back here again to do another unboxing, and if you saw that short I did yesterday, you would know that I received a package yesterday, and it was from Big Bad Toy Store. What did I get? Well, it is none other than the SH Monster Arts Gigan 2004 Great Decessive Battle version. Yes. I finally got him. I finally got Gigan because I missed out on the old version. And, you know, nowadays the old version is like going up for ridiculous prices and whatnot. And I was hoping they get, they do a repaint. And what did they do? Yes, they finally repainted. In fact, you know, I, I'm pretty sure they, they are going to repaint a lot of the old SH Monster Arts, you know, and, and it's good because it's it's in a, a way to like, you know, for people to like, you know, buy the figures that they missed out on because, you know, the old ones are going for like ridiculous prices nowadays. But enough with the chit chat. Let's get to the unboxing now, shall we? All right, so I used my scissors to cut open the tape on the top, and I am going to be taking him out of the box to see. Ah. Move that box out of the way, and there, here he is in all his glory, frozen in this out. So, yep. Oh, here is his uh, accessories here. And, yep. and here is the figure itself with his, you know, changeable parts. Oh, yep, yep, yep. They're, they fell, but don't worry. It's part of it. And, oh, there he is. This figure is just awesome. Oh my god, just I am just so happy to have an articulated version of this guy. Even though his mouth can't close fully because of his, you know, teeth. You know, oh my god, just the detail on this guy, man, is just amazing. Like holy shit. Oh, wow, this is just oh, great. Oh, man, I can't wait to use him for stop motion. And I cannot wait to get the Final Wars Godzilla. But, yeah, I mean, the detail on this guy is just so amazing. Yeah. That is just one badass robot chicken. And let's see his parts right here, the interchangeable neck, the uh, buzz saws, which, uh, yeah, yeah, they can rotate, like that, like in the movie, and the other one as well, yeah, 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 look at that, look at that, oh. and the uh, interchangeable, uh, you know, head horn and pincers, so yeah. And plus he hit me with his uh, optic laser blast for the I-beam. Stand to hold it. And he also did came with his with his chains. Damn these things are long. They're like bendy wires, so you know that that's cool. That's cool, but yeah, man, it's just oh my god, I am so happy to have a guy in my SH Monsters collection. He's a really cool figure. Oh my god, look at this guy. Yep, expect him in future stop motion movies coming soon. You know, just for the fun of it, let's do some size comparison. 
So Sunsky fought this version of Godzilla. Here is the Bandai Standard V Monster Series Godzilla 2004 or 5, whatever you want to call it. And I gotta say, this is not bad sizing. I mean, after all, Gigan was always a bit taller than Godzilla. And so, yeah, this is pretty good sizing. But, you know, since SH Monster Arts is coming up with a figure for this guy, so yeah, this is pretty good. So, yeah. And I want to compare to the Bandai movie monster series version this is the uh, stand the old version not the new one so yeah and yeah I would say you know these two are good but however this has more our articulation and the detail is just spot-on and yeah so that that's done. Let's compare to some SH uh, Monster Arts. So here we have the SH Monster Arts 2002 Godzilla. And uh, yeah, he, he doesn't look that bad next to Gigan. He's actually, uh, you know, pretty. This is a pretty good matchup, yeah. I like it. Very, very good. Very good indeed. And uh, let's uh, compare him to the. Oh, hold on a sec. Let's compare him to the SH Monster Arts Kuryu. This is the new version that came out. So, yeah. These two look pretty good together. I would say they look, they look great together, actually. So yeah, they, they fit nicely because after all, they're both from the millennium era. And you know, this could really make for a good, hmm, versus battle. Who knows, really, but yeah. Definitely these two work well with each other. Let's throw in some Gamera here, and yeah, Gamera fits pretty well with this guy, so yeah, this works good, definitely. So yeah, that's enough uh, size comparison, but yeah, so yeah. Detail is amazing. The articulation is, uh, it's good. So yeah, very good. Even the tail, even the, uh, the mouth as well, the head as well. So yeah, even the uh, pincers though. I mean, I would try to get him to his uh, upgraded form, but uh, eh. I'm too lazy to do it. But yeah, anyways, this has been my unboxing video for this guy. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.